pretty much like Lucia from LOL. I don't know who that is. Oh, Lucian? Yeah. I know that's what everyone's comparing him to, but I also don't know what Lucian does. There's not a character like that in Smite, so I don't like I don't have anything comparable. There's there is no one like that in Smite that, that shoots twice as fast like that. Um like the closest you can get is there's a there's a bunch of characters that have attack speed passives where their passives give them a bunch of attack speed but no one no one uh operates like that in smite a mirror kit but his auto damage isn't split so does he just have a really uh does he just have a really long reload kind of in between his shots is his time between shots really long and then his autos do or like the normal the normal damage per shot. Standard. How does he do the same? How does he... So he just shoots twice as fast as everyone? Seems kind of OP. Passive makes him auto twice. Yeah. So he just shoots twice as fast as everyone. But Ep said that his auto damage isn't split. Which means that he gets two full damage auto attacks. Is that right? He gets two full damage auto attacks. So yeah, is twice he autos twice as fast. Does that seem like that sounds super OP? Like the closest thing I think in Smite would maybe be Apollo passive. Which is every 10 autos that you land, your next 5 autos come out uh, with... It, he essentially gets Chimera Q after landing 10 auto attacks. It's not uh, technically the way the way Smite works. He doesn't gain uh, max attack speed. He gets, uh, one, he gets plus 100% attack speed, technically speaking. But uh, it's basically Kai Q. A short auto range. Oh, I forgot that that was a thing in League. Where characters have different auto attack ranges. I forgot that was a thing. That would be another way to balance that character. That makes sense then. It's like a truck early but falls off late game. Okay. Just kind of gets outscaled. Interesting. Yeah, that's kind of funky. Like, there's no one, there's no one from from Smite that would be comparable to something like that. Your rises. Level three Lucian's insane. So is he just like a suit? So he's just really strong early. Interesting. I mean, Apollo's kind of the same way, because the way it, that Apollo works is in Smite, the attack speed cap is 2.5. So it's 250%. That's two and a half autos per second. Um, and Apollo gains 100% attack speed. So late game, when you're already building attack speed, his passive has less value. Because you're, you're, if, you're, if you're at attack speed cap, you don't gain anything from his passive. His autos don't actually come out faster. Because you can't go above cap in Smite. There are some items that he synergizes with that, that help with that, but still. Want to play Twin Blast like Lucian, Lucian, but they're different. Yeah. I mean, like, I just, again, I don't, I don't have anything that's, I, I like, I've never been never played anything that would play similarly to twin blast in this game like it's it's just brand new for me he, he wants to dive my sparrow i think right click e would kill her oh he's taking he's taking the wave from his duo lane
I think he just took a full wave from his duo lane there, which is kind of wacky, but... I also don't know where his duo lane is at. There they are. Oh, Sparrow's dead. Bad. How's Mind Razor Infernum on Fang now? It's probably pretty good. I in the solo lane, that that's kind of what I'd build. In the in the jungle, I think that build is a little too slow. It takes forever to stack Mind Razor in the jungle. I think it's just not a very good jungle item. In the solo lane, I think that it's pretty good. Like, I think Mind Razor in the solo lane, like, on Feng Mao and Kalari, like, those two characters, it's actually, I think that's, I think it's pretty good. Gives you crazy clear, and it, and it lets you rotate. I still think it's a little bit slow. I think it should require, like, three quarters of the number of stacks that it does, in my opinion. I just think it, I think it just takes too long. It forces you to sit in lane too long. And the benefit of that item should be, like, good clear. And you would think, hey, I have good clear, now I can rotate. But because the, the, the item takes so long to come online, that's just really en ending up not how it works. What do you think about Viper? I think the stat, like the base stats on that item hold it back. I think it has a decent passive, but I also think that on hit builds are going to be way stronger this patch. Just because I think Kira and Twin Blast are like the strongest carries. And uh, I think both of them are going to use that on hit build way better than they use uh, crit build. I think that Viper is decent on Drongo if you really, really need the, the shred that it that it provides, the armor shred that it provides. But like, realistically, I just think that item's base stats are, are bad to the point of I don't want to buy it. Like to me that that's the that's the thing that's holding back that item is just how bad the base stats are. Okay, I'm here. Sev's low mana. My steel is has no mana, no health though. Just used his root. Okay. That's fine. I'll I'll take a flash for free. Like, Viper has, I believe Viper has 25 power on it at base. Like, that's actually just atrocious, dude. So bad. So, if it had better base stats, if it had more competitive base stats, I think you might see the, the item built more. Like, where where is Viper? Viper has 35 power. Okay, has 35 power. But still. It has 35 power. The prot shred passive is fine, but um, I, I think it's only really usable on characters that can like actually use it. Like a lot of characters just don't don't use that passive very well. I don't think I can really defend that. My countess comes over here, that's sick, but Tower is under attack. Okay. Yeah, I just like I don't I don't know. I guess I maybe could have walked in there and cleared it. But I, I kinda think they could just turn on me. I thought that the rest I thought like the twin blast was just sitting there, like with the Fey. I kinda figured they were just sitting outside the tower line. I didn't think they had actually walked away. I think the Fey based as well. I didn't think they actually left. I think we should look Fang Tooth off of that. It's like their team fight ultimate that's gone. Ah, 
I don't we we lost our advantage. We don't have to pull this anymore. I'm just gonna back. Try like a, a second item pain weaver, see how this feels. I usually go this item like third or later because it the stats on it are kind of bad now. But uh, I think I'll give it a go. I could go Demon Edge this game, actually. Demon Edge might be kind of tech. For the Muriel. Maybe I go Demon Edge second. That I don't think that item's great, but I'll get I I, I think I'll give it a go. Against Muriel. Yeah. Right? 50 power, 12 pen. That's not too bad, honestly. Gain movement speed when hitting a shield. I don't even care about the bonus damage part. Still only good on Drongo. Yeah, that's that's the like the primary issue with it is that I think it's too hard to proc for most carries. Because uh in this game, like items that give damage don't they add damage to your autos instead of doing their own damage. Like if Sky Splitter did additional physical damage instead of just like adding damage to your auto like if if sky splitter hits separately and uh rocked the the shred from viper then it'd be good right or like kingsbane imagine if kingsbane damage was technically separate from your auto and uh then you get to oh i can't get in front of her nice yeah i was trying to get in front of her and i couldn't get body blocked Oh, hello, Twin Blast. Remember when Malady went sicko mode and people just exploded? Bro, Malady is, Malady is a pretty good item. I like... Malady is one of those items that I think is... I think is designed well, to be honest. I like it. I think it's a cool item that gives, like... It gives you assassin stats, but it also gives you a way to clear, right? If you're a single target assassin, it gives you a way to clear the jungle, which is... Like, I like that, just because the jungle clear in this game is so wacky compared to Smite. Like, in Smite, it just doesn't matter because the jungle creeps die so easily as long as you have a jungle starter item. The creeps just die so easily that you don't need an item like that. You don't have to build an item to help you clear when you play jungle. I'm kind of letting my steel box it out for a sec. No! No! Steel! You're half health, man! Tank for me! Bro! Okay. My steel just killed me. Straight up. My steel just killed me. Bro. Please. It's denim, too. Bro, you have so much health. You can take, like, 18 more tower shots. How did Sev survive my ult? I guess he wasn't low enough. Bang Mao ult sucks, bro. I actually hate that ultimate in this game. It's so bad. Like, why? Why is it a health threshold execute? I think that that's just. I think that's bad design. Why? Not? What are they scared of about making it percent health execute? What are they scared of? Give me, give me thirty percent health execute on this character or something. Doesn't have to be thirty. Give me, give it twenty, bro. Not much I can do once I once Feng Mao shows up. There's not much I can do there. Make it 20% because he can recast. That's too cracked. Jamie, in Smite, obviously different game. Uh Achilles has a 35% health execute that can that gets recast the same way as Feng Mao's does. The same thing. Except it's 35% health th health threshold. Yeah, I just don't... Like, again, the thing I don't like about Feng Mao Ultimate is that it feels like... It feels completely useless against tanks. 
because it's it's not a percent health thrust ex it's not a percent health execute um but then again squishies like it feels like you it, it doesn't i don't know like it doesn't get to the point where i think it's better against squishies like it feels like you still have to get a squishy to like 10 percent hp before you can execute them you know like assuming you're not 10 items ahead in a game it feels like you still have to get a squishy just as low It's their support, bro. That's her flash. That's her flash. It's a okay with me. I'll take a flash for nothing any day. We're losing that tier two. There's no way we're that we lost that tier two. Okay, Fangma goes down. Braiding steel for Fangma is definitely worth it, but what else happens? Bro, I'm still mad that I died to that tower. The... Yeah, the, the way the tower shots work kind of fucks me up. Because the tower, like, loads up, and then it'll just instantly hit whoever is whoever it's aiming at when it shoots. That fucked me up. They're going to get Fang Tooth for free, but we just don't have enough pressure for me to even try and go contest it. Like, I know that they're going to it, but there's just nothing that I can do. We don't have Tier 1 in mid. We don't have Tier 1 in right. Like, there's just nothing I can do to go over there and even try. I'm gonna go look at his camps, I guess. I'm gonna go check his five and shit. You go to Chimera build. You go Overlord and then full defense. And that's pretty much it. Hey, he just cleared these. Unless Sev just cleared these. I mean, like, we can gank this guy. Oh, phase here, phase here. Rip. Okay, I'll take a, take a nice little triple. But yeah, actually go in. I'll go, I'll go right lane. They can go in over there. Yeah, nice. Now give me a pain weaver. What's he got? He went Mind Razor Mutilator. An old school, old school Fang Mao build. I got that whole camp, because Malady's OP. Why the hell does Fang's hamstring take so long to let you basic again? It's a, yeah, it's a kind of a long, re like a long, uh, it locks you out for quite a while. Dude's pretty big. All me, dude. Actually all me. 100% my damage. I mean, they don't have a jungler, and I have a hunt stack, so this like this should just actually be free. 
I want to save my dash for failed if I can. Okay, that's failed down. I should have just ulted that guy. That's a really nice ult from my steel. It lets me just dash through and next everyone. Just lets me dash through E and then next the, the carries. Uh, do I escort these guys? Is he gonna chase? I'll come in if he's gonna if he's gonna chase. I can uh okay. He's not good. Good duo lane lineup is Richter and Revenant. Uh, for what? Wait, for what? For what? Warframe. I don't know what you're talking about. Like just in general. Richter is hard to play and support. I don't think he's horrible. But you like have to be hitting hooks, otherwise you're you're useless. That's all. Still has blink, yeah, bro. I mean, their jungler's dead. There's really no point in that fight where I would have to blink. Like again, the only thing that I was waiting for was fail ultimate, and I can dash out of it. And then as soon as I see that go down and it doesn't hit me, right? I I'm free to do whatever I want. I would really like to clear this. Good side of an assassin is to walk away from a fight with flash intact. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, like, there, I, again, I'm just kind of, like, I'm in a pretty good spot. Like, I know I'm in the back of the pit, but I'm, I'm still in a decent spot, to be honest, once we get into that fight. Uh, my guy did some good damage. Controller Twin Blast player be like... <laughs> That guy's so on controller, man. Did you see how slow he turned around after I after he flashed? Turned around really slowly to come at me. Like the the back of pit is death sentence. I mean, it depends, right? It depends on mostly what's going on around you. It's not even your positioning really that it matters for. It's uh, what's happening around you. Like there, the back of the pit, I'm pretty safe in because uh, their Fang Mao was dead, right? And he's he's the only one on their team that has real mobility that can get to me in the back of the pit, right? Someone else has to like flash into the back of the pit or something like that. And uh, that person should just instantly die if they do some dumb shit like that. So I'm really not too scared by sitting in the back there. So what does exactly Demon Edge do? Damaging a shielded target deals uh, bonus damage and grants me move speed. Epic. That's all I need to know. Go steal, bro. Bang Mao be like, damn, I'm going to play a character that takes some skill. I actually have to weave my way through fights, blah, 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 blah. And steal be like, dunk, right click, uh, auto Q. And then Feng Mao's dead. And it's like, bro, that actually took a lot of brain power, didn't it? That's tough, bro. Seems odd to have an item that counters only one hero. I mean, there are more heroes with shields in the game. And when they when they add more heroes with shields, it will get more value, right? Like, Steel, Fang, Mao both have shields. Right? Only one character, I think, can give them to allies at the moment. But Steel and Fang, Mao both have shields.
Yeah, that's Sevolt too. Fast as fuck, boy. Did he just catch his dash? We just prime here. We're all full health. My steel's oom. That's bad. My steel's completely out of mana. Their team's gonna contest this too. Maybe they're not. They're just gonna give this and try and get some inhibs and shit. Works for me. Because I think Steel can defend any inhibs. Yeah, they're not gonna get right inhib. Feng Mao shouldn't be able to get mid. Nice, dude. Just dunked the fuck out of that bitch. Ladder pattern. Yeah, I mean, like, I know what you're saying. It is kind of funky that, um... An allied inhibitor is under attack. That, like, you know, only one character in the game can give shields to other people, and yet there's an item to counter shields, right? But uh, I think it'd be more frustrating if there wasn't an item to counter shields. Obviously, the item isn't very good, but having it as an option makes it feel better to play against shields. It's like, uh, when we were playing Ethereal like two months ago or whatever, there was not good anti-heal items. There weren't good anti-heal or good anti-shield items in that game. And it made, there was one support, I don't know exactly what her name was, Marina or something like that, who was really, really good, who had shield, who had shield and heals. And uh, she was incredibly frustrating to play against because there was no counter. An item that gives shields damage mitt? No, I don't like that. I think because it, it would it would be weird to like just suddenly be doing a fuck ton less damage to someone with shields. No. My ult reset, bro. I'll let that dude go. I'll just push this. That's tough, bro. Been there. Been there. I guess I was a little too fast for her. I don't think it latched onto me. I don't I don't think it latched onto me at all. I think it I think it just missed because I was too fast. Cause I'm a fucking zoomer, bro. hit a shield and break it in less than one second i don't know bro it just like playing against shields will like is a frustrating thing it just kind of always has been because it's health that you have to deal damage to in order to get to the health bar right it just makes it like kind of inherently frustrating we're just waiting for sparrow to, to push up to be honest Good chain CC. I just, I just, that, I'm dead. Fuck, that Muriel ultimate just put me over top of the Severog ultimate. That Sev just whiffed his ultimate because the Muriel knockout, bro. That's wild. I, I definitely got too greedy. I missed my fucking ultimate like an idiot. Oh, their Muriel's build is fucking... She doesn't have a support crest. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. He is he has no he has a cult crest and he's full damage. I feel like this item played well into old terminus. Yeah, I think the burst of move speed is like I don't know. I feel like I wasn't noticing it at the end, but I, I also just don't don't really know. Gabuga steel, bro. That is just how it is, huh? That really do be how that character plays. Booga booga me run at you. <laughs> 